Welcome to New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Ben Reeves. Jeff Cork is unfortunately out. But we have everything else you love about New Gameplay Today, such as Leo Vader. Hi, how are you? Uh, we got Imran Khan. I'm playing the part of Jeff Cork. That's right. And we have nothing but a serious conversation about your favorite games. Uh, and today we're taking a look at Resident Evil 2 Remake, which is coming out early next year. Imran, you got a chance to play this? I did. They let me start like midway, or not midway, but some part into both Leon and Claire's campaign. And you loved and I, it. It was yeah. really good. I enjoyed Perfect. it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It's uh, We see some Ada gameplay, too, coming up, but it's all in Leon's campaign. Yeah. I like. I remember when they t we talked to them at E3, they made it sound like there was only, like, it was just one campaign with just switching between the two. But apparently it's just two separate ones now. So they do switch out a little bit. And this is Leon, still Leon, just opening the gate for Ada, who's, I guess, patiently waiting. Sure. Hmm. What's interesting is I played a part of the game at E3, was it, with Claire? Or maybe it might have been Gamescom. Anyway. That would have been Gamescom, because E3 was just Leon. I don't know why I brought that up. But <laughs> anyway, I played as Claire, and I played through this portion, this environment. Uh, yeah, so cool they both start them, in the like, same area, but for Leon, he goes outside, and Claire... Doesn't she stays in the building? Yeah, I mean she's not a nature person. I get yeah. it. She's a nurture. That's right. She's all about nurturing. Yeah. Um, well, there's cool. some there's some funky embargo restrictions. So we're cutting around some of the big spoilers they didn't want us to show. And names of trophies was a no no. So those will be blurred out. Really? Yes. So if you so weren't gonna buy it because you saw what the trophies were named. We saved you. That's right. So that is actually a thing with the Resident Evil community is that they're very big on the achievement names because they're all like puns or like references. Sure. They're all something sandwich. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have to worry Pretty about much. your eyes going bad. We deliberately blurred that out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's not that part of your eye. I feel like we've talked about this game a number of times already since the announcement. And I think, still think it looks great. It's beautiful. Uh, and yeah. it actually looks even better probably than I last saw it. But Imran, what's your overall takeaway? Just having played it. Graphically or just in general? Yeah, just in general with the game. Like I'm it, really digging it. it. Like I, I was a little worried because I I play RE4 like an action game, and this game has RE4 controls, but not gameplay necessarily. Right. Hmm. But like, I was able to kind of hold my own in action sequences. I think I assume Leo cut out most of the deaths, but there were a lot of them. Right. Uh, it's a like for getting around zombies. It's not about killing all of them. It's shooting them in the legs and running past. Yeah. Which is something when you figure that out, it becomes a lot easier to deal with them. Sure. I think we see there, like, the little aim reticule, like, when you hold it for a minute, it gets um, more fine. Like, the reticule, yeah. like, pulls in a little bit, so you have, like, better aiming, but you have to wait for it, which is kind of a cool little uh, dynamic for the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Mm -hmm. We're That's not supposed to show what that gun part does. Oh, really? Or what the trophy... Oh, my eyes! Got. I think my eyes are going <laughs> bad. No, Reeves, it's okay. Oh, oh, really? That's a video effect. Oh, you're blowing that out intentionally. That's right. Great. Industrial light and magic helped me out. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that cataracts are not an, a feature of this game. It's this collector's edition only. Uh-oh. A little cutscene here. Yep, it's Kendo, who I you want to, might want to correct me on this, Reeves, but like he was just a guy who just pointed a gun at you, and that was it uh -huh. in the first game. Right. Yeah, he basically And now dies. he's actually like a lot more fleshed out, and they don't want to just show, out, show why. But he has a lot more to his story. I believe his yeah. name is Ken Dahl. <laughs> Ken Dahl, yes. Yeah. <laughs> to correct you a little bit. I feel like that is not a good, like a... That's a name people would make fun of you for, for uh -huh. very good reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't get why. And that's why I'm kind of going back so, to the, the action a little bit. Um, I, as a Resident Evil purist, um, not to say I'm better than anybody, but... I You're saying that, though. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, you can read between the lines. But mm -hmm. okay, as you correctly did, uh, I liked the slower pacing of these of the original games, and not that I didn't like Resident Evil Four; it just became a different type of game. So I'm actually glad that they're going back to this kind of slower paced kind of horror roots, where maybe you want to manage your resources really well, and maybe yeah. you want to run past said, some zombies. The sewer seems fitting. Yeah. So if that's you try to shoot me. every zombie in this, like yeah. even in this short demo section, you run out of bullets, maybe like three zombies. In. Because they are not fragile. Even a couple of headshots does not necessarily kill them. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see some of that later. This is from like two hours total of gameplay. 
Would yeah, you, I believe would you it's say, like well, getting a lot of deaths. Yes, it right. Was two hours of gameplay. Would you say you were scared? I was so the way with the recording worked. I was the only one who couldn't use headphones. Wow. So like, I I had to use the TV, but it was still like really tense, especially when you get into later parts. Like this part, there's not a whole lot of danger to it necessarily because uh-huh. you're rookie cop Leon Kennedy, and you're not really fighting anything right quite yet. So you're just kind of like questioning Ada about who she is and what she's doing here. But when you actually get to the part where, like, there's multiple zombies in an area and you have objectives to accomplish... Sure. I was like, okay, this is surprisingly tense. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Leo, I think... I know you said this part wasn't scary, but I don't want to freak you out, but I think you're being followed by a lady. (laughs) A weird trench coat lady, yes. Yes. So we're cutting in here. So, yeah, like, they had to... Ada ticked off her jacket at some point, and they don't want us to say why. Yep. Okay. But, but I saw the, the cutscene. I know. Secret weapon I know what happened, but I won't tell. <laughs> Does playing as Ada like change the game at all? Uh, so she she has all the basic gun stuff, but she also has this X-ray thing that lets you show where wires are connected and hack those things remote. So basically, you can solve puzzles. Okay. So sure. like for example, she's using this one to overload this fan. And by doing that, she can just blow open the uh, fan therapist, I guess you'd call it. Is that what happens when fans spin too fast? I would assume so. Okay. I assume nothing in Raccoon City is built to spec. Yeah. Yeah, it seems legit. It's supposed to move creepily slowly, so when you crank it up. So this is a sewer pipe that they had a fan installed into. I guess it's a giant <laughs> vent pipe, but it's big enough for people to walk through. You really like, got to blow that sewer For maintenance. Around. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And tasty. Uh, so a little bit of uh, puzzle solving. That's one thing I'd love to see return to the series is like uh, more emphasis on interesting puzzles. Not necessarily yeah. just sort of matching. Uh, in reality, they were just key cards, right? You'd find like this item and it, and it functionally it was a key card. You would have to just, like bring the items together into one place and then you unlock the door. Is that the kind of like sense you got from the puzzles here? I mean, there's still plenty of those. Like, once you get into the RPD, they are, like, straight up just like, oh, this is the heart lock, this is the square lock, whatever. But there's also, like, this sort of thing that is a lot more interesting. Uh Uh-huh. But if you, like, the classic Resident Evil puzzle of trying to match things together is still pretty much there. Mm. And, like, it actually has a cool effect of when you go to a locked door that you don't have the key for. It just, like, kind of jiggles the lock in a, like, it's not a huge thing, but it's neat. That was scary. No, this is yeah. A- aiming in this game is harder than you would think. Yeah. Is that intentional? I would assume so. Like I had auto assist on because I didn't want to embarrass myself for a demo, and it's still surprisingly difficult to keep your uh, build, or aiming tracked onto the enemy. I mean, you can give him three headshots here, at least. There was one point where I shot his hand, which I thought was super super cool because like if you shoot his hand a little bit li- longer, his hand falls off. Sure. So he can't block with it anymore. Oh my gosh, he's taking huh. a licking. And do you know what uh, difficulty you're playing on here? Uh, I was, I think, normal. Wow. It loaded in a save with that Capcom had set up, so I'm not sure what they had on there. Sure. But it didn't stay, like, super easy or anything. And now we can see Ada's gotten her jacket back and grown some extra hair. <laughs> She's modded her dress to be a That's jacket. Right. Uh, I so think by this point in the demo, I'd already taken a hit or two, so she's kind of stumbling along. Sure. And you're suddenly you're playing as Claire, and you're saying this is all one campaign now? I, I, I thought it was. That was what they told us at E3, but they had different saves and different names by the saves. Okay. So I think it's now two separate campaigns. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Um, and Maybe I was wrong, but I thought that was kind of the plan from the beginning. Is I think maybe, like you have a I Leon and a Claire E3. campaign, yeah. Um, but then like Ada, and then I'm sure I don't know if you got to play as Sherry, like the little girl. So she's at the very end of this, like Claire's demo. Okay. And I did not get that far because I got really lost. <laughs> but like, to, like her thing is she needs to solve a puzzle to get, I like, find out where uh, Sherry and I don't want to spoil for people who haven't played already too. But there's a character who takes Sherry, and okay. you're trying to pursue them. So all these things I'm finding around here, I'm just trying to, like, avoid zombies and do my best to get to them. 
Yeah, they seem easy to avoid if that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. They seem easy to avoid except when you, like, happen to lock yourself in a room <laughs> uh, that spawns a bunch of zombies. Which I believe we're going to see out fairly soon. <laughs> were you a big fan of the original Resident Evil? I, I really like Resident Evil. Well, I like Resident Evil 2 a lot. One, I kind of skipped me by. I watched my friend play it, like an older friend. But sure. I bought two, I think, in 99, 2000. It was like the first walkthrough I'd ever written when I was like 13. Wait, you wrote a walkthrough? I wrote a walkthrough, and it was like a terrible walkthrough because it was just like, well, I'm pretty sure you go this way. And I saw, because <laughs> it was like HTML, and I didn't know what to put as a background. I put like just the cover art tiled in the back, so it was unreadable. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm sure that still exists on the GeoCities archives. So uh, that'd be interesting to go look up. And you should. Uh... You should read the walkthrough while playing this game. <laughs> yeah. And just see how uh, legit it is. You should go back and so, add yeah, this game's cover using art. Using sub weapons now, yeah. you can just, like, stab people. Or, what, like, stab or use a grenade. Whoa, oh dude. my god. Well, some overkill. I, did, I didn't realize I had fire bullets. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and the shotguns also take a very long time to uh, reload. So it's not a perfect method. Oh, so it looks like you get a little update on your health when you get attacked, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You don't have to keep checking or just see how f well you walk. Yeah, that's uh, nice. I also spent way too long trying to aim. This looks like a full grenade launcher. Than you think. So one thing I also noticed is you had that um, your sub weapon mm -hmm. you used to stab him. I it, maybe I'm wrong. In the remake of the original, those were kind of like one hit takedowns. Or no, 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 no. The, you had the more powerful ones that were one hit takedowns, correct? Yeah, you could decapitate with that's a knife right. in the remake. I think. And I think you had grenades that you could stuff in their mouth. Were, uh, yeah, Chris. this one will just get them off you. And you can still stuff the grenades. Like, I was able to do that with a flash grenade uh, at one point. Oh, it's really? It's super cool, but, like, you really got to... There's times where it doesn't make sense to use it because there's not enough zombies around. Like, using this one flash grenade probably not going to help on, like, one zombie. Uh-huh. But... Better to save it, that for a crowd. And if it's a flash grenade and you stuff it in their mouth, it's just going to, like, clean their teeth. That's right. Yeah. Flash cleaning. Yeah. I do that every night. Or will be. I wondered why you were missing so, so many things. One of the cool teams. things that, like, about the remake that I wasn't in the original is that this section, I don't know if it, like, it's already passed or not, but you see walkers. Texas and Ranger? walkers in this game are, like, or, I'm sorry, not walkers, lickers. I sure. Say. Okay. Oh. And uh, they are, so I don't know if you ever noticed, Reese, when the original game, they're blind. And if you don't make any sound and don't make any gunshots, you can actually get around them. You can kind of, like, sneak past them, yeah. Yeah, but almost no but, one ever did that because there's no room where a liquor was just like alone and you weren't shooting at. Well, yeah, uh, usually they're way they too powerful in this you. game. Okay. So if you try to like if you try to do a fight without enough uh, ammo or somebody's walking around nearby, then you're pretty much going to die. So sneaking around them is a lot more emphasized here. Oh, interesting. So you have some sort of stealth mechanics, you could say. Yeah, like, stealth if you stop elements. and, like, let them sniff at you, they're going to see you and eventually kill you. So right. you have to keep it, like, kind of like a dull roar of just walking but not doing enough to catch your attention. It's like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Pretty much. Did anything about it feel outdated at this point, or does it feel like a new game that just happens to follow Resident Evil 2? So it has, like, I mean, there's still, like, the Resident Evil puzzles, and I, I don't know how people are going to, like, modern Resident Evil fans, because... It hasn't been about puzzles for a long time. Like, how they're going to feel about this. Because, mm -hmm. like, here's the thing of, I don't have the circuits, and, like, immediately in my head, I was like, I, should I look this up? Oh, wait, I can't, because this game isn't out yet. <laughs> you haven't written the walkthrough yet. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Somebody has to take my mantle. Yeah. Yes. But, like, I, I don't know how people are going to, like, really, are they going to feel this sort of thing is archaic? Like, or are they going to dig the fact that you have to keep backtracking around to find new things? Yeah. One thing I wonder, too, is like a lot of people just like that shooter mentality, mm -hmm. of especially console shooters. They expect a certain level of um, just like how the reticule is going to move and like how it's the kind of stickiness. Tactical precision. It. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Things that maybe you don't even you aren't even aware exist in most shooters. Uh, it seems like maybe some of that's paired back just to amp up the horror. Like just looking at it, it doesn't look very um, the reticule doesn't look sticky, let's say. So. I don't know. Was that your kind of impression? It feels like harder and just like your ability to move and shoot. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like you can't really do combat on reaction in this game. 
you have to be prepared for whatever's coming up to you. Which, like, slow walking zombies, that makes sense. Yeah. But generally, if you're just raising your gun and shooting it in the same second, then you're probably going to miss whatever you're aiming at. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of wonder if people won't love the feel of the shooting. Or if it might turn off some modern gamers, let's say. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to check it out. They're not critiquing it in any way. Yeah, certainly Resident Evil fans are stoked on it. Yeah, for sure. And I'm excited to play it. But I, I kind of wonder if a lot of like modern shooter fans will be a little bit uh, turned off by it. But, but maybe I the horror like, crowd. It's, it's definitely an improvement over like Resident Evil controls in general. It's just I, if you're going in there expecting even Resident Evil 4, it's going to be probably a more rude awakening. Sure. Hmm. So it's even slower than Resident Evil 4. I would say so, because, like, you can, you can shoot on reaction Resident Evil 4, and, like, you're encouraged to a lot of time, but, like, there's zombies around here, and if I did not see them, if they just sort of came up on me, I would have taken the hit regardless. Yeah. But fortunately, you could hear them coming. Yeah. The sound design in this game is actually really, really good. Even without headphones, like, you could basically hear everything along the way. Like, there's there are times in the RPD where you will meet... Uh, Mr. X, and uh -huh. you can hear him coming from rooms away. Hmm. Sounds creepy. Can the zombies open doors? Uh, if you've un already unlocked the door, yes. Oh yeah, I think we saw that earlier, actually. Yeah. Any door you've unlocked is free game for anyone else to get in. You, you should just lock it after you go through it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Oh, Imran, just run, you fool. I don't know why I was trying to shoot I think I was just testing how many headshots it would take to kill. Yeah. It turns out a lot. Because even when they fall down, they're not necessarily dead. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Is he dead That now? is death. That is, I'm pretty sure, like a kill confirm. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. It looks really good to me. I'm excited as a Resident Evil fan. Yeah, I mean, like, the graphically, it is probably one of the best-looking games I've seen out of Capcom in a long time. Sure. But... I'm like, we were playing on base PS4, so I don't know if there's like a lot of pro enhancements or Xbox X One X enhancements. Oh, but well. I can only imagine it's going to look better. Yeah, even for that, it, it looks really good, and it's cool to see them put like this much emphasis on a remake. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like I think like, a lot of people. This is top down, completely remade. This isn't them lazily not making a new game. It's there's <laughs> right. a lot of love in this project. It seems. I haven't. Uh, I wasn't into Resident Evil before four. Okay. But I really like the vibe of 7 and the the slower, more puzzle-based, oh, sure. more deliberate yeah. combat. So I'm, I'm curious to check this out myself. So, yeah, this could be right up your alley then. Yeah. It's also one of those things where, like, you kind of list out the everybody's favorite Resident Evil, and 2 comes up in that list a lot. A lot of people cite 2 as their favorite. So yeah, it's definitely one of those games. And it's, it's maybe mine. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth. But it's definitely up there um, on my list. Oh, and yeah, there's Mr. X. There he is. I love his design. It's really good. <laughs> He's so freaky. He's like oh. almost funny, but still very creepy. You can knock off his hat, and like that's one of the. Uh, that's a super cool thing, and it'll it'll stop him, so he has to go pick it up. Really? So oh, that's like cool. you need to, uh, generally get a like a good shot on him, and it'll stop him for a couple of more seconds. Yeah. Hmm. That was awesome. Except it doesn't stop him, like, oh. that long. <laughs> Is he one of those bosses oh you're not really... It's not clear if you can really kill him or if you're supposed to be moving on? Because that was the one thing, my gripe with Resident Evil 7, is lots of bosses, it just wouldn't tell you if you're wasting your bullets on them. Yeah, it, it's a waste of bullets to fight him before... Uh, I don't know if how it works in a remake. In Resident Evil 2, there's an actual straight-up boss fight towards the end of Claire's campaign, but you should not be fighting him before that. Oh, yeah, uh, you don't want to fight him in the original. You definitely want to run... Yeah, like Resident Evil 3 had those... Nemesis, who you could choose to fight or not, and, like, it's a it's a big resource drain, but you get, I think, better weapons if you do. Right. And I usually just ran from that fight. <laughs> he was tough. Cool. Well, that's you, about all the footage past we can show. Running almost impossible, because he will slide, or, like, he'll get you a, in a choke slam if you run past him the right angle. Freaky. Well, Imran, thanks for showing us off the game. Thank you. Good job playing. <laughs> You didn't totally embarrass us. And thank you, Leo. Thank you. And thank you, Ben Reeves. And you're welcome. Goodbye, Cork. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>